Hey, it's JR and I'm back here with Ann Clark and I'm learning. I've learned one ramen dish, gourmet ramen dish, I could say. Yes, you mastered and, it. Uh, but now we're gonna do another twist where we have beef and ramen. Right, this could be any kind of meat. If you are a vegetarian, you could use tofu right okay. here. For this dish, we've used less than a pound. Okay. And you don't have to worry about whether it's too fat or too lean. It's all okay. lean these days. Fantastic, all right. Good. All right, cool. So this has been browned and we're gonna just heat it up again. All right. And this is so cool because you see how easy the ramen was made? Ramen is very easy to make. And these are frozen veggies and they make neat things now. These are gourmet with toasted almonds that you can just put right into the beef. They're so, called, what are they called, almond beans? Almond beans. And these are cool. toasted almonds. You don't have to do anything to you except to open the package. See, now you're speaking my language. Don't have to do anything. I like this. Okay. <laughs> and depending on how well you like your peas, beans, and carrots, you can put some of those in. That's so, how easy it is. Just do I, I do the ramen, ramen on top? Okay, mm -hmm. ramen on top. Mm -hmm. And like you said, is this in our, one of our other ones videos, you said that this is up to me how much ramen I want? Sure. And let's choose mixed vegetables. All right. And we're gonna stir this up, right? So I don't, I don't, we're gonna stir it I don't up. need to worry about spreading it out and, right now. And this is uh, a beef dish or a chicken dish, so I just call it sriracha ramen. Sriracha ramen. Sriracha ramen. Say it again. Uh, sriracha ramen. So this is a fairly mild uh, hot sauce, and it's sweeter. It's what's gonna give it a little kick, but it's like a ten Sriracha chili. Okay. There you go. All right. Wooden spoons. Wooden spoons. I usually am getting hit with these, but all right, we'll use them to, to mix. There we go. So I'm mixing up just all the ingredients. So go over the ingredients one more time. We got beef that we that you already browned. Okay, and red onions. And remember, you can buy them dried or you can cut them up yourself. So he's got the ramen in and he's got the vegetables in and it's all heating up. And then the, the wonderful sriracha chil uh, chili. Yeah. And then we're going to put in just a little smoked paprika because it's just one of my favorites. We're gonna put it in this bowl, and uh, I'm gonna slip away and get him a fork. There you go. Try this. Bowl. All right, here we go. Try this over here. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, and look right. how easy. It is. Yeah, it was very easy. Fork. Oops, I forgot. Good thing you're stirring because I forgot we've got these nice crushed almonds that came out of the almond and green bee package. And so we put a little toasted almond. You can buy these separately. You can buy a little bag of these. All right, so there you go right there. Got all my ingredients. Only one thing left to do, Ann. Okay. Let's try it. Very good. Yep. Very good. That, yeah, that was definitely a good idea right there. I can taste that for you sure. Can taste that for sure. Oh, man. Okay. See, the nice thing about this, if it's not quite to your taste, you can no, always add yeah. a little more, right? Perfect. Now. Okay. So there's lunch. The leftovers go for dinner. Mm, fantastic. Another success. Sriracha ramen.